Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pure Pack here on the Kplex server. Now, uh, last time uh, was a little bit ago for me, but uh, recent for you guys finishing up. Um, last e several episodes, we had a dungeon raid uh, with Wolf Runner 20 here on the server, and that was amazing. It was super fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't checked it out, uh, then I would recommend doing it. Um, and I would also recommend going over to Wolf's Wolf Runner 20's channel and um, seeing his point of view and checking out his episodes too. It was loads of fun. We had a blast. Asked. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. It was awesome. Um, but yes, so today, as you can see, I've done a little bit of landscaping and building here at my castle. Um, like I said, it's been, for me, it's been a little while um, since I've been actually on here and recording last, um, just because of life and just not having time and stuff. But I have been doing some work on the castle, and today we are going to be doing some more blood magic stuff, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of some of the stuff that I've done. Um... There, you may notice that there are some holes here and there uh, due to creeper explosions and me not having resources on hand to fix them at the time and just not being able to fix them. Um, also, I have gone through a lot of the loot from the um, from the dungeon raid that we did and uh, sorted that into chests and whatnot. So, um, oh, come on, don't crash on me. There we go. All right. So, yes, yeah, so... I've been working on stuff there. So, uh, as you can see, I've made a nice entryway um, coming up. Uh, it's not straight on with the door. Excuse me. <clears throat> my throat's a little bit... Um, my throat's being a little bit weird right now. Sorry. Um, but as you can see, we made I made an entryway. I'm not too sure about this up here, but that's what I'm going to go with for now. Um, got this little... Uh, walkway coming in, and uh, this is all stuff that you have seen before, and I have worked on, so we did that, and up here, I started work on getting, uh, putting more floor or down, and working on our second floor tower, um, which is still a work in progress, this whole thing is still a work in progress, nowhere near finished, um, but yeah, uh, as you can see right now, I am also wearing the most of the gem armor gifted to me by Wolf Runner. Um, I'm not wearing the shoes because wearing the shoes, I go really fast and the FOV gets a lot wider. Um, so I figured I would just leave the shoes off for now. I don't really need them. Um, uh, these Abyssal boots give me a slight speed boost anyway, so that's fine there. Um, but yeah, so we got all this up and running. Um, working on being worked on and whatnot. Um, elevator is still out of commission. I am hoping um, to have that being uh, set up and worked on uh, in the next couple, couple of episodes, hopefully. Um, so there's that. Uh, and then if we... Nothing new is out here. Um, nothing new is outside at the garden, so we can just come on down here, and I can show you what I've done down here. So, um, one well, of first things you'll see right here is I have moved the power generation and the machines over to this little corner, straight off of where the elevators are going to be, because the elevators need power, and I decided to, um, this isn't going to stay like this. I'm probably going to end up just having power generation down here moving machines up here when I'm up to the surface, when I move other things up, and when I move my chest and everything up, and then working up there. Um, I haven't decided if that's going to actually be the case, if I'm actually going to use up there to work or not. Um, I kind of still want to, but kind of don't at the same time, so we'll have to figure that out. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got this all set up. Um, nothing else is new here. Uh, I did find that sushi is 
really great for power in um, this culinary generator. So at the moment, my power source is sushi. I'm running on sushi power. So I uh, haven't come up with much better than that. So that is what we're running on for power right now, primarily. Um, a lot of the potions uh, I got in the dungeon raid uh, do work in here, but they don't provide a lot of power, unfortunately. And then the squeezer and oil generator, I don't really have a automated canola source for that. So, um, And then coal's just bleh. Uh, so yes, so I got all that set up, and that is all nice and good. Uh, that's all moved now. I've got all my potions over here that work, because um, I did still have everything set up. Uh, nothing new is here. And next thing is actually going to be part of what we're going to get into today. You'll see I have cleared out a nice little area back here um, in the blood room. So, and the purpose of that is because today we are going to be using some arcane ash to create a division sigil. Because I need the division sigil to help in blood magic. It will help out loads, and I want it. So that's what we are going to do today. So uh, some of the first things we're going to need to do is make some arcane ash. So I should be able to substitute bone meal for this white-colored honey dye. Uh, redstone, gunpowder, and coal. All of those things I have. I've already got the coal in my inventory. I need a gunpowder. Uh, I've already got the redstone in my inventory as well. Gonna need a couple of those actually. Um, and some bone meal, and I've got the coal already. So let's see about making this arcane ash, shall we? Gunpowder, redstone, uh, bone meal, and coal. And then if I shove you in there, shouldn't use anything from here, I believe. Nope, it didn't. Awesome. And there is some arcane ash. So according to the book, the arcane ash has like 16 uses, I think, before you need a new one. Um, and so if I make, I want to make sure I got this right. Um, when you right-click on the ground or on the wall, you can, you will inscribe a simple circle out of the ash. If you click on, if you click on the ash with in item, it will be placed inside the ash. So, if I put you right there, all right, so it's pretty small. Then I put redstone in that, there we go. And now I need a blank slate. So I got a bunch of blank slates here. I was actually expecting the circle to be a lot bigger, but if I place that there, it's spinning. Ooh. Very nice. I was really expecting it to be like a big circle, but nope, it's just a small thing. This small little thing. And here is our divination sigil. I currently have 700, 8,937 8, life points in my thing. If I click on the altar, tier 3, uh, life point uh, current essence, 5,000. Maximum is 10,000. So we're about halfway full, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Nice. And then the rest of it would be in these blood orbs, I do believe. I... Yeah, I think it just... Can't... It's through the blood orbs that it is there. Awesome! Alright, cool. Well, that was really quick. Um, I was actually expecting that to... Uh, I don't know. I don't honestly don't know what I was expecting. Maybe to for it to go wrong or something. Um, you know what we can do is we can work on getting some of the uh, items for upgrading our altar and maybe upgrade it completely. So um, we're gonna need this large blood brick, which means we need a weak blood shard. So how do we get a weak blood shard? Because we need that in order to upgrade our altar. Weak blood orb. Let's see. Uh, that's ritual magic. Yeah, we don't want the rituals. Uh, demon can. Um, 
How do I get a weak blood shard? Do we have to make demon do we have to make demon crystals? Is that what we need? You know what, actually? Um nine hundred. I was going to make something when I had enough essence, and I think I have enough. Um Excuse me. Uh, just had a little bit of sneeze there. Sorry about that. Uh, so we need crystal. That needs 400 to make this. That's fine. We don't need that right now. Um, alchemy array. Binding agent. It needs 400 and uses 10. We might be able to make... Ah, um, no, this doesn't say weak blood shard. doesn't say demon blood shard. Shards. Does it say shards in here? I do not see anything. Um, but we've got 900 in this. We could potentially make some living armor, which would be pretty cool. I kind of want to make some living armor. It's just it's just iron armor in um, with binding reagents. Binding reagent is glowstone, dust, and that. So I think we could do this. Should we make some living armor? I think we'll make some living armor today. Why not? Why not? We have alchemy arrays, so... Binding reagent. So we're going to need some iron armor, and we're going to need to make four binding agents. So the binding agents are redstone, glowstone, gold nuggets, and gunpowder. I've got all that stuff. So... For redstone. Uh, I don't have glowstone in here, do I? No, I moved it out. Don't need that. We need one, two, three, four gunpowder. We need four nuggets and four glowstone. We have exactly enough to make the living armor. Now, this armor is great, but I do want to make some of this living armor. So there's that. So if I put you there, it should only use ten for each. Yep, there's 10. So it means we should still have quite a bit of will left in here. Um, in order to make... This is the common. In order to make the greater Tartaric gem. I want to list the finish first. So in order to make the greater Tartaric gem, we need 1,000. Okay, so we're not quite at 1,000 yet. Plus we need Demon, Crystallizer, and Weak Blood Orb. There's that demon crystallization. I wanted to do that. Demon crystallizer. Required 500. So we could make that as well. Clear, sta clear stable glass. Is that just a... Hmm. I don't know if that's actually what we need or not. Because it doesn't look like it's in blood magic. Yeah, we can probably just use regular stuff. Demon Crystallizer. Yeah, just any glass. All right. Um, first things first, though. Uh, I want to make see. Do I have any iron armor lying around? Uh, any in here? I have some. I have an iron sword. That's another thing I wanted. To, uh, is there? Was there something? I definitely needed the iron sword. I think it was for something. I don't remember. Um, no iron armor in there. I don't think I have any iron armor. I don't have any iron armor. I think I did have some iron boots, but I melted those down into iron. Oh well, let's just make some then. We can just make some iron armor. Uh, that's right. It's in here. So we need a chest piece, chest piece, some pants, some boots, and a helmet. Helmet boots. Ta-da! And now, if I just make these array, if I just do this array, we should be able to get the entire set relatively quickly. Put you there. Ooh, that's really, that got really big. Whoa. We got thunder striking through the ground, guys. Lightning is striking through the ground. Ooh, and there are boots. 
Look at that. Living boots. Awesome. Um, I just kind of want to go upstairs and make sure nothing uh, set fire or burnt down through that. Because that could be really bad if something uh, broke. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just the thing. You know what? Let's do it up here. Why not? Let's do the next one up here. So I'll put you down. Put you in it. And I put you in it. See what happens. Boom! Boom! Get out of here. Ha! Living helmet. Ha ha ha. Alright, we're gonna go back downstairs. There are monsters up here. There's actually a zombie heart up here I want instead of this rotten flesh. Mine. Mine, mine. Alright, let's go back downstairs and finish this up, shall we? This is pretty cool. Honestly, I was not expecting to be able to make this armor today. Um, I was expecting the division sigil. Something. I don't know if I expected something to go wrong with the division sigil or what. Um, but, no, everything everything's actually working pretty well. Boom. Boom. Lightning strikes. And there are living leggings. And now one more. Oh. Nope. Come back. Thank you. Go down. In. And the chest piece. Doom. Thunder claps from above. Piercing through the earth to create sorceries of the dark arts. <laughs> and there is a living chest plate. Look at me. Look at me. Something just broke down. Wow, I'm so much slower. Something broke down the door. Where are you? Who's breaking down my doors? Now, how this living armor is supposed to work is, like, the more I do certain things with it, the more it, um, the better it becomes. And you can add upgrades to it as well, which we are definitely going to have to do. Because... I definitely take damage in this armor, whereas I didn't in the other armor. Goodbye. What's in here? Powered rail. It's okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie. I do not want to deal with you anymore. Whee! Uh, you'll also notice that I have my Molten Sword back out, as opposed to... Um, if you watched the... If you watched the... Um, Dungeon Raid, you'll notice I have my iron, my Molten Sword as opposed to the Red Katar. Um, I'm very appreciative, and I really do like this armor. It is amazing, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to have something that I have made. So that's kind of most of the reason why I, wanted, I still wanted to make this Blood Armor. Um, and if I come over here... These, I believe, um, living armor downgrade tome. We don't want those. We want upgrade tomes. We want these is what we want. Living armor training bracelet. Tier 4. So we can train it for certain things. So stormtrooper, loose traction, uh, dult blade... Dwarven Might, True Strike, Leap, Limp Leg, Soft Fall, Strong Legs, Body Building, Healthier. Like all these different things. You have to make, I think we have to make one and then add it on and then something will come on. 
I'm not 100% sure. I still have to read about the living armor. But we have living armor. It is amazing. It is symbiotic with us. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, upgrade acquired. Ooh, we got an upgrade. What did we get? Does it say what we got? Hold shift plus M for progress info. Shift M. Hold shift plus M. Doesn't tell me anything. I wonder if it does on any of the other ones. Doesn't tell me what we got. I don't know what we got. Did we get resistance too? No, that's from our ring. Huh. I don't know what we have. I don't know. I'll have to read more about... I'll have to read more and figure it out. But I believe that is going to be all we have time for in this episode, guys. So it's awesome. Made some cool armor. I'm going to have to read up more on it uh, to figure out exactly how it works and figure out exactly what it all does and needs. But yeah, it's awesome. Pretty cool. Um, so anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. This episode. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next one. Oh, and before I go, um, don't forget to check out everybody else on the server and to check out uh, the discord in the description um, we're all on it loads of people are on it it's awesome fun times and yeah ooh another upgrade acquired I still don't know how to upgrade points zero out of one I don't know we'll find out I'm gonna figure it out one way or another anyway guys I'm gonna stop rambling now thank you all f so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one till then guys Bye-bye.